All right, another couple examples here of subtracting whole numbers. So in part A, we have uh, 1,655 minus 104. Part B, we've got 5,000 minus uh, 1,219. So um, I'm going to, again, just take them in order. So 1655 five minus, and again, notice I'm careful to line everything up, uh, you know, all the units correctly. So we've got uh, 1,655 minus 104. Well, if we, uh, again, just do 5 minus 4, that's going to be 1. 5 minus 0 is going to be 5. 6 minus 1 is 5. And you can, again, think about their, uh, uh, this digit as being a 0. 1 minus 0 is just going to leave us with 1. So it says uh, 1655 minus 104 is going to leave us with 1,551. So the next one, 5,000 minus 1219. Okay, this one's a little bit trickier. Um, you know, the other examples we've seen up till now, if you look at the number on top, it's always larger than the number on the bottom. So we can just do the subtraction, you know, with, with no trouble. But now, you know, suppose if we look at the first column, you know, if you've got zero dollars and somebody tries to take away nine, well, okay, you've got negative nine, but for our purpose of subtraction, that doesn't work. So what we want to do is we want to carry a digit, um, we want to borrow a digit from the next place. Well, notice there's all zeros here. We can't really take anything. So, again, we can't take anything from the next one. So the first place we can take a digit from is the 5. So we're going to drop that down to a 4. And then we're going to pretend that instead of a 0, we've now got a 10. So I'm going to get rid of this digit as well. Okay, so we're still thinking about doing our subtraction. Okay, but again, the same problem. I still can't do 0 minus 9 or 0 minus 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to borrow yet another digit. So I'm going to, instead of have a 10, I'm going to make that into a 9. And now the 0 will turn into a 10. But again, we have to do this process one more time so that we can borrow a digit to make our 0 into a 10. And now everything is, uh, is set up correctly. So we've got 10 minus 9. That's going to leave us with 1. We have 9 minus 1, that'll leave us with 8. 9 minus 2 is going to leave us with 7. And then 4 minus 1 is going to leave us with 3. And now we've got our solution. So it says, it says 5,000 minus uh, 1219 is going to equal 3,781.